you know, the first thing we're here to talk about is, is BYOD. This one is hitting the IT world upside the head. I have no better way to explain it. I mean, it's coming out of nowhere. And it's got its pluses and its minuses, and we'll talk about all of them, right? So, you know, I've kind of broke this up on a trending model by who you are in your company. Um, first one is, is the CIO, and, and looking at everybody here, I think we're more in the C. IO, IT admin type area. So let's talk about that, right? 50% on a survey done by Cisco, who's presenting here today under their own, is <coughs> pulled six leading economies and said they would, and 50% of the CIO said they would never, never move to the BYOD, right? Bring their own devices to work. So, and here's the reasons why they say that, right? 40% of the issues, 44% said it's just, it's taken away. I mean, people have them, they don't have them. It's taking away from my other projects and my other budgets. Among those that they, and there were two, I think a total of 2,000 people that were uh, polled in this poll, uh, with the polling data. And so among these, the 30% that had their own laptops used public internet access, which is okay, we all use it. Everybody probably here, you're probably on it today, right? 25% have had their devices hacked. 25% of all the personal devices have been hacked by some. So much different than a corporate level. 33% of the people that were in this poll had no or minimal security on their devices. So that's, I mean, that's pretty scary information, right? And then 40, 46% often, not little, often let other people use their personal device. That's a lot, that's a, that's a telltale sign of why we don't as IT people really truly want to embrace it until we're ready to embrace the environment. And hopefully today you're going to find some things to start easing that pain. And the big reason we need to do that is because we're IT and there's people above us, right? So the people above us from the CFO level down, and I can tell you this one because this, this first one I kept actually came from our own CFO in our company. <laughs> he brought this to us and said, look, this is what we're seeing out there. And you're going to see a lot of different things uh, where they're saying it's from an economy standpoint, it's awesome. They don't have to deal with budgets, employee spin ups, right? Um, think of now you know, Cisco's borderless network, but then think about the, you have no walls anymore, right? When you start talking about expansion and if you have bring your own device is much bigger than just bringing your own laptop because what it creates is mobility and mobility reduces the need for walls and cement and mortar and so it goes well beyond just the fact that you guys bring your devices that, that the user brings their devices in so we've taken some stats here the biggest one that you see here are the tablet computing world. That's what's really flipped everything upside down. See, it, it started with the, the smartphones, right? That was a trick for the IT guys. Somebody tricked us. Because, well, that was no threat to us, right? So the CI or the CFO said, you know, we're going to, now that there's an all you can eat data plans, we're just going to create an allowance for everybody. And they can go get whatever phone they want. This is all we're going to pay. And so in their minds, that's what they're thinking, right? But we're already doing it. It's cell phones. It was a trick. Somebody, somebody pulled the wool over our eyes on that one. And we as IT people said, oh, yeah, it's just the phone. Go ahead. No problem. Wrong. It, it, it was bad. That was a bad move from an IT side. At that point, we should have put the brakes on and started securing that information. So lesson learned on this one. Um, what we're trying to so what you see here is you've got CFOs putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the CIO to deliver this type of model. And some of the other tools and tactics they're using, and quite honestly, they're probably right. You're going to take much better care as an end user of your own device than you will of company property. So the other thing is you'll have a tendency to spend more money and buy better equipment 
than what your company would buy for you. That's the other tip. That, that's the other one of the polling data are saying that you know their average spend on their personal IT is about three thousand dollars per person right now on their average spend on personal IT. So that's leveraging, which is about by the way from a personal IT take application, let's just look at the hardware and the mobility piece of it, it's about twice as much as we as a business owner spend on our employee. So they personally spend two times what we spend per, per, per employee, which is pretty unique stand, uh, uh, information. So looking at this, basically what we're saying is we don't have a choice. I mean, that's really what it's coming down to. 